Yes, sir. What's good, everybody? I'm back and I'm better with another video. Dip, dip, dip. All right. So today we're gonna do a little bit of sourcing. Stimulus has hit. That means all the stores are cleared out, even all my pawn shops, bro. I already know. So it might be a dry day, but we're gonna see what we can find. So our first location that we're gonna be at is, is the Galleria Mall. It's about, it's not 10. They did daylight saving things. So I think it's like 12, about to be 12. So it's already 12 o'clock. So let's go in, see what we can find. All right guys, there. so let's the go. first store we're gonna go into is of course Shoe Palace. There's nothing really crazy. These lows right here, they don't really go for much. Probably later on, they probably will do, but not right now. And I don't see them going up in value over time. Also, just a bunch of Team Jordans. Here's the champs. A bunch more Team Jordans. Nothing really crazy. And that's just because of the stimulus. Everybody really took it all. And um, here's the finish line. Nothing but garbage. And then we're going to go into a full locker, which is also going to have garbage. It's just how it is due to, to, to the stimulus, but let's go to a different store. Nothing, nothing good, but I dig it. So. I'm going to go to the next store. I'm not sure if I should do my my regular route to my favorite stores or should just mess around and see what I can find. I'm not too desperate for inventory, as you guys know, I have a lot of shoes already. But it doesn't hurt to find a few pairs. Look to this pawn shop. Really nothing crazy here also. They took everything. Those 14s were only 20 bucks. It's just a steal. Those 10s were fake. 180 for these. That's ridiculous. Okay. Everything else is garbage. Basura. No profit. Alright guys. Nothing at that pawn shop. About to go to the store. Pick up some Jordan for it. Okay. Let's get them. Um, let me get them first. Then we can talk. Yo Santo. What's good? Cuddy. Yes sir. We did pick it up. <laughs> I got a six. What? Good, Cuddy. Yes, hey, we got it. All right. I don't know why I'm so excited, but easy hundred dollar profit right here. Paid 150. Market's at like 270 something. Easy a hundred dollars. And then I also got to pick up another pair of shoes, which I'm gonna show y'all right now, real quick. Real quick. Bro, I was not expecting the video to go the way it is, but hey, man, <laughs> I like that. We got these. I picked up the size eight. Uh, I don't know, man. I kind of like this shoe. Simple, easy, $115 retail, which means, bro, somebody's willing to pay a little bit higher than $115 for this. It's a simple yellow, black. If you see all the black and yellow shoes, they do tend to go up. So easy money, yes, sir. See, uh, this is going to be just savings account this is my savings account other than that probably gonna end up going to another detail R. see what we can find there uh, but everything else is dry let's go to a different location see if we can find some more topes topes but they bro they already sold out <laughs> Sheesh. um so i just left another detail R. we got uno mas topes I got another six, I think. I got two sixes. Damn, I messed up. Um, I should got a six and a half or something. But I did get a six. Boom. Just hold on to it. Nothing like really I can do with this shoe. Besides, I already made profit, but for just for tax reasons, why sell it so fast when I can just hold on to it and uh, get my profit later on. That's why I love shoes so much. You don't have to sell them right away. But also, we did get to pick up these right here for $30. Tiffany up tempos, $29.99. Beautiful shoe. These I have sold them for about 40 some dollars. So we got we got five pairs of them in here. <laughs> so if I paid about $32, sell them for an average of $42, that's $10 profit. That's 50 bucks right there from uh, five pairs of them. No gimmicks, they're all in here, boy. Sir, they all in there. They in there. There you go, guys. There's some money to be made. About to go to a pawn shop, see what we can get over there, too. Sheesh. This shoe been here for like a year. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got some off white. Look at these for 60 bucks. Could be some profit in it, but I'm not a big fan. And these are here for $58. That's cool. Now let's go to the back. Let's go to the back. 
Alright, let's see what they got. $100, no. 55 actually kind of a steal. Right now it's $40, so probably take these for 40 out the door. Alright, so we got these right here for 130 Clearance price right now is $94. Kind of taxed. The shoe's kind of beat. Um, so far we got one shoe, right? So far one shoe. $65. This is a kid size shoe, which means it doesn't sell for much or as fast as I wanted to. Pass on that one. Um, nothing. Let's see, they got they got these right here for 85. Not a bad price. Oh, $90. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 90 bucks for some mids. Clean them up. Easy a hundred and like twenty, thirty dollars right here. Let's go. Let's go. I see some other mids for 70 bucks. I'll uh, probably pass on that. Other than that, they don't have anything crazy. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Oh yeah, I actually sold this shoe for a lot of money online. Um, but my pair was super clean compared to this. Uh, some special editions. Oh, these twelves. <laughs> Fake Jordan tens right here, bro. Look at the tongue. Oh my god. But yeah, other than that, there's really nothing. Um, got the Bel Air fives for eighty five. That's it. Boom! Just like that, pick these up. Ninety bucks, probably to one thirty to one forty to one fifty range. Pretty easy money. This one probably sell it for about eighty bucks. Hundred shipped with shipping and all the fees. Probably make eighty bucks off of it. So um, I'm guessing we just I pay no tax on that. So it's one thirty out the door. I negotiated that price. And so what were you at for profit? Um, so on this one, I'm expecting like 40 bucks. On the other one, 40 bucks. So we're at $80. So, bro, I was not expecting the day to go this way. So if you're a reseller, just go out there and look for pairs and you'll find shit, bro. It's crazy. Like legit, it's, it's the best time to sell shoes right now because of the stimulus. And I'm finding deals, so most of these are gonna be gone. Uh, well, the used stuff is gonna be gone. Brand new stuff, I, I tend to hold on to it for a little bit longer, just to see where the market is at, and just because I don't need the cash, because trash, cash is trash. Now, let's go to a different store, see what else we can find. Crazy day, I love it so far. The voice talent thing is too loud. All right, guys, I'm gonna do so hard, the music is too loud. These are on these, these are on sale, but they're not priced on sale, whatever. So we're gonna get a few pairs of them, five, seven and up. And then they still have these right here. So I'm gonna pick up a few pairs of these. They probably have like a nine, ten, ten and a half. So we'll take these up also. Out the detail are got two pairs of shoes. And it's the Iversons pay I don't know. And it's the Iversons. I paid $55 after tax. They're selling on StockX for about $100. So there's some room for me to make about $30 to $25 per pair. So that's another $50 pickup. So far, like literally the day is amazing. And I'm so happy for it too. Um, some other people are hitting me up that they got two pays for sale and stuff like that. So we'll pick up a few pairs off uh, people also. And uh, yeah, that's how my day is going. I'm blessed. It's amazing. Let's find uh, some other deals and see what we get. Hey, uh, do you, you guys get the GS Topaz or no? Okay, hey, uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, do you guys get the GS Topaz? The GS what? Jordan 4 Topaz or Topaz, like the brown Jordan oh, 4. No, we did it Alright, cool. Uh, I was looking for another pair of um, some Iversons. Is it cool if I give you this to you and you can look it up if you guys have a pair? We don't have any Iversons in stock at this location, man. You might probably want to check the DTR Wheeling. Okay, okay, for sure. Alright, appreciate that, boss. No problem, No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, so everything on the south side didn't get a pair, so I'm gonna call up on no side. Thank you for calling DTLI, your fashion. 
Jeez, bro, I'm driving like a crackhead trying to get these shoes. Let's go. We're going to go get them. Uh, about a 25 minute drive. Not that bad. Let's go get these ugly Jordan 4s. Woo! Bro, oh, oh, my bad. I ain't breaking the law. I ain't, I ain't breaking the law. I'm only going 70 miles per Just left this detail law. No pairs. I messed up. I actually went south instead of coming towards this way. It would only have taken probably about 10 minutes to come to this location from the other location. But I went 20 minutes south and I had to come 20 minutes north. And I had to shop at that store. But it is what it is. You feel me? I ain't mad about it. We found another play. We're going to go to a pawn shop. Find uh, a pair of shoes already got pending. It has the box and everything. When we get there, I'll show you guys the shoe. I'm about to put the GPS address right now. Let's go to that pawn shop. Bro, I feel bad for the prison pest control guy right here. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go in. Um, this is not the play. Uh, this is just on the way to the play. So we'll see what we get. Whole lot of bricks. Whole lot of bricks in there. Let's go to the other play. Oh, y'all boys, see it. Let me zoom in for you guys. Pawn shop. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Oh, we zoomed in all the way for you. All right. This is my first time going into this pawn shop. So we'll see what we get. My boy, plates is expired. What you doing driving? Oh, no, never mind. It's just not. So it's my first time going into this type of pawn shop. Let's see what they got in there. Hopefully good stuff. I rolled in into the pawn shop. I'm gonna get these, but these obsidians are pretty fake and these purple fires are priced at like 225. They tax in like a month, but this is crazy. They got some other crazy pawn shop experience, guys. I have never experienced a pawn shop like that with the FTB, with the FTG Cruiser, bro. That's crazy, but we picked these up. Paid a good price, 150 out the door. No taxes, bro. I love that. The obsidians, I'm thinking they're like fake. I looked at them, it wasn't looking right. You feel me? So I bought this for 150. Probably gonna sell this at two something. I sold the pair for 240 or 230 on eBay before. Same size, same condition. So good lick. Uh, time to go home. It's 4 p.m. We left the house at 12 o'clock, dropped off packages. So we really started our day about 12 30 ish till 4. I don't know how much we made, but we did make some good money. Um, not a lot, but I mean, I, I don't mind four or five hundred dollars plus. As you guys know, I buy a lot of shoes on the internet. So in the morning, I just woke up, I was scrolling through the platforms, bought a few pairs. So we're doing really good. Let's hope those orders don't get canceled. Other than that, I'm gonna take my ass home, or we might go to a different pond. Let's see what we get into in a few minutes.